the face-off between the Venezuelan government of Nicolas Maduro and the opposition led by Juan Guaido has put Caracas in a years-long political impasse and economic crisis. Several rounds of talks in recent years have been futile and the two sides have failed to reach a consensus. In August, the Venezuelan government and the opposition began a new round of negotiations in Mexico City aimed at overcoming Venezuela's political and economic crisis. The dialogue was mediated by Norway. However, the latest developments have hampered the process of a possible settlement. Venezuela's government has decided to suspend the talks after Cape Verde extradited a Venezuelan envoy named Alex Saab to the United States on money laundering charges on Saturday. Saab was arrested in Cape Verde under a U.S. arrest warrant in June 2020 when his plane stopped there to refuel. Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro lashed out at the U.S. for what he called kidnapping of an envoy to face an American court. Saab was taken yesterday, skirting over everything. A plane arrived, assassins, hitmen came down. They sought him out and they removed him with blows from the jail he was held. They took him without advising lawyers, the family, nobody. A kidnapping by the United States government of an international diplomat. Jorge Rodriguez, who heads the government's negotiating team, described the government's decision as a deep expression of protest over the brutal aggression against Alex Saab. He also called on Washington to release Saab immediately. Venezuela is alerting the world that the life of Alex Saab is in danger. It's in the hands of judicial system that is directed at harming Venezuela and we demand his immediate release by the American government. The U.S. charged Saab in 2019 in connection with a bribery scheme and sanctioned him for allegedly orchestrating a corruption network that allowed Caracas to profit from a state-run food subsidy program. However, Saab's lawyers have denied the U.S. charges as politically motivated. This is absolutely a political attack on Venezuela and it is a kidnapping. This shows just how far in lawlessness uh, the United States is willing to go and how much they are determined to attack Venezuela. Meanwhile, U.S.-backed opposition figure Juan Guaido reacted to the decision to suspend the talks, accusing the government of evading the nation's problems. Caracas aims to ease U.S.-led sanctions on the Venezuelan nation, while the opposition says it aims to use the talks to secure guarantees for regional elections to be held in the fall. Venezuela descended into political turmoil after U.S.-backed opposition figure Juan Guaido unilaterally declared himself as the interim president in January 2019. He claimed that Maduro's re-election in 2018 was fraudulent. Then, United States refrained from recognizing Nicolas Maduro's re-election in 2018, imposed sanctions on the crisis-hit economy of the Latin American nation, and froze millions of dollars of Venezuelan money in the U.S. bank account. Washington has been using sanctions as leverage to overthrow the legitimate government of Maduro in what has been termed economic terrorism. Venezuela has faced chronic shortages of food and medicine as a result of U.S. sanctions resulting in years of political and economic crisis. Well, this is exactly what the U.S. government wants to prevent. Uh, and this may be also an effort on their part to sabotage even the negotiations going on in Mexico. That how can the talks continue under in this situation? Uh, but. What, what needs to be condemned and denounced is depriving any country of food and medicine, particularly in this time of pandemic. While freezing assets and slapping illegal sanctions on countries that refuse to submit to Washington's hegemonic policies is nothing new, the U.S. sanctions have directly targeted Venezuelan people. Experts say the sanctions, used as a tool for regime change, have no effect on the stability of Maduro administration, but further complicate the socio-economic condition of ordinary people amidst a full-blown crisis. Mm -hmm.